Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ADSRSounds.com, and in this video I'll be talking about the random functions in Reactor. So the randomizer module here outputs what's called a pseudo-random stream of numbers. And I want to show you what that means first, and later in the tutorial I'll show you how we can kind of sidestep this problem. So to begin, I'm just setting up a randomizer so that we can click a button to get a random output between negative uh, 0.5 and positive 0.5. And I'll run the output into an event watcher so we can record the stream of numbers coming out of the randomizer. And just make sure you set the random module to be monophonic, and this should work fine. So let's hop to the panel and make ourselves a short stream of pseudo-random numbers. Um, but first I want to save the ensemble and reload it. And that way we'll be guaranteed to start from a newly initialized ensemble. And let's take a look at the first five events coming out of the randomizer module. They look totally random. But if we restart and reload the ensemble, you see um, we get the same five values again, the exact same five values. So even though these events seem random, they will in fact be the same um, every time you restart the ensemble. So in order to work around this, I wanted to create something that was a little more truly random. And the technique involves first getting a completely random value and I'm going to do that in a sort of strange way that requires at least one MIDI note to be sent to our ensemble. So the basic idea is the first time we receive a MIDI note in this instrument we'll use that event to read a value from an oscillator and use that to seed our random number generators. So at an incoming gate value, we'll increase the value of this counter by 1. Then if the value um, going into the separator is less than or equal to 1, we'll trigger a value module. So this will only trigger um, the first time you press a note once you've opened the ensemble. And flowing into the value module, I'm just going to have a sine wave with a really high amplitude. I just kind of chose a large number at random here. So depending on how long it takes for a MIDI note to arrive when you've opened the ensemble, um, we'll choose a different value from the sine oscillator. So it's unlikely that the amount of time it'll take you to press a MIDI note will ever be exactly the same. Um, you know, we're taking 48,000 samples a second from our sine wave oscillator here. So then we just run the output of our value module into a set random module, which we want to set to be always active. We set everything running into it to monophonic. And the set random module here will choose a different set of pseudo random values to come out of the randomizer module um, for each value that comes into its input. So we just give it a random seed value, and um, that will give us a, something closer to a true random output from our randomizer modules. So if we never receive a MIDI note, we'll just get the same sequence that we were getting previously. But when we get a MIDI note, we get a new seed number and a new set of pseudo-random values. And let's just try this again, and we'll see that we get a different set of values this time than we did last time. <laughs> 